Stakes action about to begin. The rabbit is up on the track and underway for race 12. It's the final round of the Texas Juvenile Sprint. Yes, here comes Marky. And they're off out of the starting box. Down the front stretch, two and four, side by side. Radio Traveler and the eight now coming on at Caesar Red Scion. Around the turn, the Traveler out front, number two. Then it's the four LA's Unruly Vince and the eight Red Scion. It's two, eight, seven, four dropping back. One, three, five, and six. Here they come around the turn, number to Radio Traveler running away from this field. He wins huge two, seven, eight, and one. Oh my, what a race for Radio. Piers Banks. Also joining everybody out in the track, Richard and Wilma Whitener, also Myrtle Irwin's out there. Great to have everybody here tonight for the final round in the big Texas Juvenile Sprint Championship. And congratulations going out to the owners, trainers, Bubba Lewis. A good job with these young pups. Getting two into the final, and one of them wins it for him. Congratulations to the Irwin Racing Kennel. And thanks again to the folks from the Texas Greyhound Association for sponsoring this great event. partners who own this Greyhound and a lot of people own episode dogs. This was the first episode dog to start here at the track and his win in April of 93 was the first win for an episode dog out there on the track. Presenting the trophy is our racing secretary Jim Ebbs and the trainer Don Corey along with assistant trainer. That's Denise Corey, the fine folks owning the kennel, Mr. Harlan, George and Bernice Harlan, out there on the track, along with the ever popular Jerry Olson, Bob Jaffe, Larry Bowman is out there, and Don Strand. And those are just a few of the Houston Partners. Also, Ken Kessinger, Kim Ashley Thies, Mark Sands, David Scheller, and Jay Shepard. The other owners involved in that group who own Burning Episode. And congratulations for a job well done. A fine career here at Gulf Greyhound Park. Congratulations to Jerry Olson and all of the uh, fine Houston partners. Good luck to everybody involved in Greyhound owners. All right, racing fans, here we go. The Pepsi Challenge is about to begin. That rabbit is on the way for race 12. Yes, here comes Marky. And they're off out of the starting box. Number two with a quick jump. Flying guess the five. Moving fast. Now SC's mass.
fast rider. It's two and five side by side, neck and neck around the turn. Number two holding them off, flying gas in an excellent race. In the back stretch, number five makes the move on the outside. The mask rider looks to pass, and he does. It's five, two, three, eight, four, seven, six, and one. Here they come now around the turn. Number five, SC's mask rider showing the way home. The three moving late, festive light to the wire. It's five, two, three, and eight. The mask rider. The PV house kennel. Great to have them out here. And that is the champion, SC's Mask Rider. Let's hear it. Third stakes race in a row. How about a round of applause for our champion and the big favorite this afternoon. Yes, here comes Marky. And they're off number two, Rapido Ramos, out with a quick break. It's two leading the one. Rapido Ramos leads the way. Graceland Blades follows through the turn. Around the turn, it is the two. Ramos holding them off. Graceland Blades looking for him in the back stretch. Here they are side by side now. Around the turn, number one, Graceland Blades takes the lead. Here they come through the final turn. Blades starting to pour it on. Down the home stretch, he's lengthening the gap to the wire. It's one and two. By the numbers, Graceland Blades with a late speed wins it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me direct your attention to the winner's circle for the awards presentation. Out in the winner's circle, joining Graceland Blaze, you've got a fine host of winners. Mr. and Mrs. Brad Levy from UPN 20 presenting the trophy. Accepting the trophy, the trainer, that's Dan Beaton along with Mr. and Mrs. Ronnie Moffat. And Ronnie Moffat, by the way, Terry Smith, the owner, but Ronnie Moffat raised young Graceland Blaze out on the farm up in Waco, so doing a fine job there. And uh, out there with them, of course, the Lingles. And they own the kennel, of course, David Lingle and Billy Lingle. And our representatives, Ron Godfroy, our assistant racing secretary, and over on the left, we can't leave out Pierce Banks, our operations manager here at the track. There's a fine lineup of top flight folks. Thanks again to UPN 20 for sponsoring the contest. Also Pepsi sponsoring us. Matt Bennett out there, senior lead out, taking care of the Greyhound. And that is the group. How about a big hand for Graceland Blaze? Another incredible time, 29.74. Fabulous effort from the youngster in just his 26th official start. Yes, here comes Marky. And they're off number two, Sakata's and right out quickly with the lead. Seven going with a Mark Fort Snow and the three rapid Ramos. Ramos with the lead now by a nose around the turn. Zen battling, coming back ahead out front. It's two and three out with the lead. Then the one, seven, six, four, eight, and five. Around the final turn, number two, Sakata's and Pouring it on, off the turn, the Zen Meister out front, all the way home, Sakata Zen, two, three, four, and six. Holy cow, hold on. And there you see him on your TV monitors and out in the winner's circle. Trophy presentation from 
Piers Banks, our director of operations here at Gulf Greyhound Park, to Tommy La Rosa. Congratulations to Tommy, the Stokes La Rosa Kennel, Sakata Zen, and owner Karen Hyde. A fantastic effort by a great young greyhound. Our People's Choice Champion for 1996. Let's hear it for all of them involved. Congratulations, everybody. It is on the way, yes, here comes Marky. And they're up out of the starting box, down the front stretch. Number one, Sakata's in out quickly. The three, that's okay, right lane. And then the eight, Flying Hoover. Around the turn, it's the one, Sakata's in. Three in second, two moving up, Mohican Cantos. It's one, two, three, seven, eight, four, five, and six. Here they come around the far turn. Number one, Sakata's in way out front. The seven, Bean Brewer, makes the eight move down the straightaway. Headed for home, it's one, two, seven, and a close. One for show. Hold your tickets. Victories under his belt. Ye Crown Royal Race now added to it. Out there, trainer Tommy La Rosa. The kennel, the Stokes La Rosa kennel, and all the King's Court. about to begin the final in the Texas Fall Derby. Coming right up in here comes Marky. And they're off out of the starting box. Into the first turn, number one, Booger Bill with the early lead. Around the turn, it's Booger Bill in the red coat showing the way. Down the straightaway, it's one, three, two, eight, seven, five, six, and four. Around the turn now, number one still on top, Booger Bill, followed by the two, Rapid O'Baron coming around the outside. The seven, Graceland Blaze already up close. Here they go on the back stretch. It's two, one, seven, four, six, three, five, and eight. Around the far turn, number two in the lead, Rapid O'Baron. The seven struggling, Graceland Blaze wants him. He can't get him. Down the home stretch, number two holding on. The seven trying. It's too late, two, seven, one, and four. Oh, my goodness. The upset comes through. Ladies and gentlemen, let me direct your attention to the winner's circle and the trophy presentation for the Texas Fall Derby. $30,000 sponsor from the Texas Greyhound Association and a host of celebrities out on the track, including Jim Frey, executive director of the TGA, also out there, the owner of this fine youngster, Rapido Baron, and that's Pam Smith from Cleveland, Texas. Ray Brownlee out there accepting the check. Hey, Ray. Also, Piers Banks, our operations manager, and Nat Wynn out there, our director of racing. Also, our director of racing, Jim Ebbs, and our assistant racing secretary, Ron Godfroy, a host of friends and relatives out there having a good time. And congratulations once again for the stunning upset and a strong victory, a fine young Greyhound. Wood Memorial Sprint, yes, here comes Marky. And they're up and running in the Wood 
Memorial Sprint. Number six with a slight lead, Rodeo Gene Early. It's six, five, and eight into the turn. Around the turn, number eight sneaks by Rapido Ramos, your new leader. Followed by the three, that's West Texas. And the five suit up. It's eight, three, five, four, one, two, seven, and six. Here they come around the far turn. Number eight, Rapido Ramos, picking them up and putting them down. Headed for home with the win. It's eight, four, and a close one for show. Ramos wins it. Plethora of dignitaries. You've got Jimmy Haley, the executive director of the Texas City Lamarck Chamber of Commerce. Lamarck Mayor Pro Tem, Jack Nooner. T.J. Alds from the Texas City Sun and the next mayor of Lamarck. <laughs> he didn't know that. Also, from the board of directors of the Texas City Lamarck Chamber, Sally Briggs. Trophy being presented by Piers Banks, our operations manager, to Don Corey, the monster himself with a monster win in the Wood Memorial Sprint. Congratulations to... Don Corey, owners Jack and Yvonne Childs, and the George Harlan Kennel, and congratulations to Rapido Ramos with another exciting stakes victory. Here comes Mark. And they're off better running in the Thanksgiving Day Classic. It's number one, along with a five and seven out to the lead. Into the turn, number one, Rapido Ramos leads the pack. The five and second SC's Mask Rider, and then the seven flying program. Around the turn, in the back stretcher field, one, five, seven, three, eight, two, four, and six. One more turn to go. Number one trying to hold him off. Rapido Ramos still with the lead. Here comes the three. Graceland Blaze on the outside with room. Down the straightaway. Blaze is blazing for home. It's three, one, five. At the finish line, Graceland Blaze. All right, folks, let me direct your attention now out to the winner's circle and the trophy presentation to the Thanksgiving Day Classic winner, Graceland Blaze. Operations manager for Gulf Greyhound Park, Piers Banks, presenting the check and the trophy to owner Terry Smith from right here in the Houston area. Congratulations, Terry, another big victory, another stakes win for Graceland Blaze. Out there, Tammy Clark, along with Blaze himself, the track record holder here, and the ever popular son of the great Pease Raisin Kane. Terry, we've been talking to, you've seen him on the Finish Line show quite often. We've followed young Graceland Blaze and that whole litter since their inception. That's the first litter to reach the track here. The first litter from Peas Raisin Cane and they are doing obviously quite well. Congratulations again to Terry Smith and the David Lingle Kennel. Congratulations again to Graceland Blaze. Let's hear it for a great youngster. Every Get underway for race nine. In the box, here's Murky. And they're off on the break. The six out clean. The mask rider leads the charge down the front stretch into the turn. SC's mask rider already with a two length lead into the turn. Ramos in second. The two white tail Geronimo in third. By the big board they go. It's all the mask rider. It's six, one, two, four, seven, eight, and five. The three is out of it. One final turn. The rest of the pack is out of it. It's all. The Mask Rider rumbling home. Blaze drives up gallantly for third. It's six, one, and seven at the finish line. SC's Mask Rider, your 1997 Rodeo Stakes final. 97 Rodeo Stakes final champion. SC's a Mask Rider, Gulf Greyhound's very own. Pierce Banks on hand to handle the trophy presentation. SC's Mask Rider's owned by the Stone Craig Kennel. 
trainer Danny Peavy House. About to end. The rabbit is on the way for this two-dog match race. Yes, here comes Marky. And they're off. Number three, the mask rider breaking out smartly, running away from Graceland Blaze. Leading him by four lengths in the first turn. The mask rider shows the way. Graceland Blaze, the one, way back around the turn. In the back stretch, it's three and one. Mask rider out comfortably on Blaze. Around the final turn, the mask Rider looking good. Blaze now starting to kick it in. Down the home stretch. Here they come. It's going to be close. Blaze closing the gap. Number three wins it. The Mask Rider pulls off the miracle. Home. And here he comes, folks. Let's hear it for the repeat defending champion in March Madness. The Greyhound of the moment, the Greyhound of the year, SC's Mask Rider with a stunning victory here in race nine. Nobody thought it was possible. And there he is, the repeat champion, and I get to shave tonight. The Mask Rider uh, victory vigil comes to an exciting conclusion. The awards presentation outside, and there you've got the two owners on the left there, Jim Stone and Bob Craig. That's the Stone Craig guys you hear so much about. Making the presentation, of course, you've got our operations manager, Piers Banks, and of course, our assistant director of racing out there, Jim Ebbs, along with the lead out, Larry Driscoll, the assistant trainer, and uh, none other than Charlie Peavy House himself of the Peavy House Kennel, and the star of the show, SC's Mask Rider. Let's hear it for him, everybody. What a greyhound. The All-America team, the Rural Rube Award, as the best sprint racer in North America, and, of course, in our Hall of Fame here this year, the wins champion from the previous year, and looking good for this year to repeat. What a repeat champion, SC's Mask Rider. Six. Again, the rabbit is on the move, yes, here comes Marky, and they're up and running down the straightaway. It's two, three, five, six, one, four, eight, and seven. As they head into the first turn, number two, Land of the Moon, the early leader. The one, West Texas moving up, and then the three, Royal Blend in the back stretch. It is two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One more turn to go. It's a battle between the two and the one. Up front, number five, SC's Mask Rider trying to kick it in. Off the turn, the one, West Texas takes the lead. The men out front. Here they come to the finish line in the big upset. It's one, two, five. Victorious yet again. Trophy presentation coming uh, from Piers Banks, our director of operations here at Gulf Greyhound Park and all the fine folks from the Why Not Kennel, trainer James McGee. Congratulations once again to West Texas in a stunning victory here. Here comes Marky, and they're up and running in the roundup. A good start by the five season Mask Rider. Into the turn, it's five, one, two, three, four, eight, seven, and six. Around the turn they go. The five leads the way. The Mask Rider out front, the one in second. That's Cocktail Waitress, and then the two Sakata's in. By the big board, it's five, one, seven, moving quick. Two, three, four, six, and eight. Here they come around the final turn. Number five, Mask Rider with a lead. Here comes the seven, Graceland. And blaze after him, blowing by him down the straightaway at the wire at 7-5 and a close one for show. The blaze catches him at the finish line. Dan Beaton out there being patted on the back by kennel owner David Lingle. 
And there, of course, the great one, track record holder, Graceland Blaze. Also, of course, you've got the Cohen Group represented, Randy Soans, and the Texas Greyhound Association's Jim Frey. And Bum's favorite, Blue Ribbon Sausage. A great time had by all. And a big winning check being presented by Jim Frey and the Texas Greyhound Association, the breeders organization right here in the state. How about a big round of applause, a hand for a great race and a fantastic Greyhound. Graceland Blaze and SC's Mask Rider side by side at the finish line and Blaze beats him by a neck. Oh, what a race it was, folks. Eight minutes until the 10th. Big try super coming right up. About to begin, and here comes Marky and the rough and running in stakes action. Number six, why not Silver out quickly and leads them into the first turn at six, two, eight, one, five, four, seven, and three. Around the turn they go. Number six, why not Silver the leader? The two in second, River Lexus, the eight coming around the outside of C's win for me. It's six, eight, two, one, five, seven, four, and three. Around the far turn, number six, why not Silver with the lead and in control. Down the home stretch, it's silver to the finish line for gold. Six, eight, and five in your juvenile championship. Fine youngsters out there. Also, all the Neals are out there. They're on the left. Laverne Hibbs and Darren Neal, the two owners of Why Not Silver. And Piers Banks handing the trophy. Over to Bobby Hibbs, who is now passing it along to Darren and Laverne. And there they are, all the family out, all the friends and relatives, the dignitaries here tonight for the $10,000 Texas Juvenile Championship finale. And the winner, deservedly so, why not Silver? And congratulations. To the local owners, great to see everybody out having some fun. Get to see their greyhounds win tonight. All right, let's hear it, folks. A round of applause for our stakes champion and a new rising star on the horizon. Why not silver? Challenge, and here comes Marky. They're off and running in the Pepsi Challenge. Down the straightaway, the four. J and J Satin Prince gains the lead. Into the turn, it's four, five, seven, and one. Around the turn, the Prince on top. The one go scoop go against the rail, and the five Bean Brewers stalking him wide. Down the straightaway, it's four, one, five, seven, two, three, six, and eight. Around the turn, a tight pack. All of them up front. All of them close. Around the turn, the youngster giving it up. Here comes the five. Bean Brewer, the three late to the wire. A close one at the finish line. Bean Brewer wins. And there you have it, folks. Representatives from Pepsi, of course, our own Pierce Banks from Gulf Greyhound Park, and J.D. Jones from the Pecos Kennel, the winner in the Pepsi Challenge, Bean Brewer. All right, the big race is over. Bean Brewer going to take a rest. Six in second class, he walked the four, Baker Brown, three, six, four, and the one, line to the moon is out of it. It is six, two, a close one, but the seven, classy walk is the last. He is gone. No 
away. Here they come. It's all Rico Explosive. Running away from them to the wire. It is three. Oh, my goodness. Number one, Satin Prince is eliminated. Hi. Psychomatic. Hunting for him on the inside. Passes to the wire. It is five, three, and four. Number one is done. AZ Cash Money is out of chain. Right away, it's all the three. Rico Explosive to the finish line. It is three. And number two, Baker Brown is gone. Down the straightaway. Two still with the lead. The one challenging, though. Psychomatic to the wire. It is one, two, and the three. Norris Treasure is out of it. Comes Marky, and we're off and running in the final round of the countdown series. Number two, Rico Explosive, with the early speed, out to the early lead. It's Rico Explosive, and two lengths back, Psychomatic, around the turn. The Explosive one shows the way past the big board. It's Rico Explosive leading the way, Psychomatic in second, around the turn. The front runner, Rico Explosive, holding him off. Here comes Psychomatic now, kicking in the late speed, headed for home. It's going to be close up the wire. Oh, my God. <laughs> they get there together. Race coming up and here comes Marky. And Mauro Fanner running in the People's Choice Race. Number five, why not? Silver out to the lead. Here they come rushing by him. It's the two, the Satin Prince up front, the six. Cocktail Waitress goes with him. Satin Prince shows the way. Number two in the blue, the leader. Prince wants to rule the six in second cocktail waitress, then the seven Sakata's in. It is two, six, seven, three, one, eight, five, and four. Around the turn, headed for home. It's the Prince up front. Here they come, headed down the final stretch to the wire. It is two and a close one for place. Two starts. He is running for the Sprint Casper Kennel and our director of racing, Nat Wynn, giving the trophy for the People's Choice Champion to trainer, Randy Dingman. Congratulations to everybody involved. A big afternoon of racing and a big race. Comes Marky, and Mara Penn running in the big KO. Number four, AZ Hightone with the lead. The shocking long shot out front. Around the turn, number one, Sakata Zen takes control. It is one, four, and two. Here they go now. In the back stretch, it is one, four, two, seven, five, six, three, and eight. Around the turn, number one, Sakata Zen with the lead in the red coat. The four in second, AZ Hightone, and then the two cocktail waitress. Off the turn, down the home stretch, it is the red coat. Holding close to the wire, one, two, and four. As here comes Marky and Mara Pan running in Ye Royal Race. Number one out smartly, J and J Satin Prince with a lead into the turn. It is the Greyhound who would be king. Number one, Satin Prince on top, the seven Bean Brewer, a close second, and then the three Rancho Quahati. It is one, seven, three, five, two, eight, six, and the four trails around the turn. Number one with a lead. Here comes Bean Brewer challenging on the turn. Off the turn now, the veteran takes over. Seven Bean Brewer with a slight lead. The one in second to the finish line. It's seven, one, five. From last year, he is certainly one of the best. And what a picture that is. King Henry VIII out here with us tonight. 
All the fine folks from the King's Court.